We are cooking kidney bean and corn curry to go with our jeera rice. I've got a tablespoon of coconut oil in there, a teaspoon of mustard seeds, and as soon as they start seasoning, I'm going to put in when you hear the pot. The cumin. Yeah. Take off the heat. This recipe is from Mum's first book, Indian Vegetarian Quick After Work Indian Vegetarian Cookbook. Literally what I used at university when it came out. Bailey is hungry, scratching on the fridge as well. And what did you put in now, Mum? A teaspoon of mustard seeds, a teaspoon of cumin seeds, and half a teaspoon of asafoetida. What does the asafoetida do? It's got this that very helps you digest smell. the food. It's very good to take away the wind from your body. It makes everything easy to digest. Any bloating, flatulence, all that everything. kind of stuff. Perfect. Some lovely red onions and shallots. Two yep. shallots and a small red onion. Yummy. Or you can use two red onions, small ones. Brilliant. As soon as they start browning, I don't want it to cook very far, not too dark. Just a little bit of the golden color. And I put in two cloves of garlic grated and then one inch of ginger grated. Okay, Never peel your ginger. Most of the nutrients are under the skin of the ginger. Okay, brilliant. So we'll let that cook off. Mum has kept everything ready, all of her ingredients. And this is our little spicekin essential in every Gujarati, well, Indian household. <laughs> Many other people now, friends, also have spicekin. I'm going to just give this a stir so it doesn't stick. The heat is quite high. And And garlic, while the onion is cooking, you can grate your onion and your ginger and garlic. Can you see how they become golden? Your onion, now put in your ginger and your garlic, give it a stir and add in your beans, kidney beans and sweet corn. And you have to use organic kidney beans, really easy way just to get it in so you don't have to prep any of your lentils. There we go, that's all going in. So I put in about a cup of water in Enough there. Enough water to sort of cover most of the lentils. Yeah. And now we're going to add in the spices. Spices. So let's see what you've got here. I got salt to taste. I'm going to put in about a teaspoon of salt in there. This is half a teaspoon, and a little more. About half a teaspoon of turmeric going in. Some lovely organic. Antibacterial, anti-inflammatory, the best thing you can ever think of. Which it's we've been, been using for years, right? Two and a half thousand years back, oh. they've been using turmeric in Ayurvedic medicine. Brilliant. Oh, shall I put a little chili? Yeah. Is this hot or? Yeah, it's your chili, so. Okay, this good. is the that's Kashmiri enough. red that's chili. That's enough, that's enough. Okay. Um, mental. Husband doesn't like much chili. And, and dana jeera, about a tablespoon of dana jeera. Yummy. Maybe. What is dana jeera? Dana jeera is a combination of cumin and coriander powder. Yum. Dana means coriander, jeera means cumin, so it's a combination of cumin and coriander powder. You can get it mixed. Already, if you cannot find that, then you add on two tablespoons of coriander powder and one tablespoon of cumin powder and that will make give you three tablespoons of dana jeera. Perfect. Okay, good. Now the way to some... remember is coriander is milder than cumin, so you need double the quantity of coriander to cumin. Okay, good. I'm going to put in about three tablespoons of passata or you can put in chopped fresh tomatoes. Add some water maybe and we get the yep. rest of that out. Yummy. This is all going to come together. We're going to close it, simmer it. Perfect. So you've got 
all your spices in with enough liquid. Increase the heat because curry should be cooked, not simmered. And we are going to add on about four tablespoons of coconut milk in there. Mm, I love that flavor. And we cooked with coconut oil as well, just to give it this lovely coconutty twist and flavor to the curry. Yum. And I'm cooking going to... with, she's cooking with flair, with joy, and, and with, with love, which is in. I'm going to just taste it before I put the leaf on. Handy. Here we go. Cook with flair, cook with joy, cook with love. That is Mum's saying from her first book. And have you had a little taste, Mum? I have, and it's perfect at the moment. And if you want it a little hotter. By taste, you can add on a little red chili powder afterwards. Are you going to cover it up and let it simmer now? Brilliant. And what have we done now with the rice? By the way, this is mum's second book. The rice has been par cooked al dente, like you would cook your pasta, and let it, you cook it in excess water, so you drain out the excess water, and I've just let my rice cool down on a tray. And I'm going to stir fry it with a little bit of oil and cumin Brilliant. and two shallots. Brilliant. I'm going to stir fry the rice in a non-stick frying pan. So you put in a tablespoon of olive oil or any oil that you prefer. Rapeseed oil could go in or groundnut oil. And I'm going to put in two teaspoons of cumin seeds in there. Like a jeera rice, yeah? Yep, it's yeah. going to be a jeera rice with shallots. Good, but we're not adding lots of butter. We're making a nice healthy version, yeah? Yes. So where's your shallots, Mum? One second, just let it sizzle a bit and I'll put in the shallots. Meanwhile, we'll have a little peek at what is bubbling here. Our there we go. Corn and kidney bean curry. As soon as the cumin starts sizzling, you add in your sliced shallots. I got two small shallots in there. Yummy. I love shallots. You do as well, don't you? So do I. Why do they taste so different? Because they are much more sweeter. They're not very really sharp as an onion. And it's a lovely, mellow taste at the end. Good. We can use the small shallots or the banana shallots, the bigger one. I'm just going to sizzle that for a while, just two, three minutes. At this stage, you can put in some nuts if you like. You can put in a few cashew nuts if you prefer. But I'm just going to do cumin and rice today. I think we'll add some coffee. cashew nuts at the end. The best way to put in any nuts is to roast your nuts in the oven first. Yeah. Dry roast and then add on. So you just cook the rice al dente, let, it, let the water out, drain it all out, and then you just let it cool in a nice um, yes. tray. Look how beautiful this basmati rice is, long grain. Each strand is separate. Are we doing an advert? <laughs> Which rice is your favorite, mum? The make I use is tilda. Ah. Sorry to name one particular rice, but it is. Don't worry, we're going to have to get best. an advert now for Tilda going. <laughs> but to be honest, that is uh, most, I think, home's favourite. It's one of the best rice mates. The colour is very bright, and each strand is long, and it doesn't come with mixed broken rice. And I like brown rice, so we could do the same recipe with brown rice, right? Or you can do a mixture of brown and white together. And sometimes I even mix in quinoa, right? Oh yeah, you can. Yeah, so whatever works for you. Look how beautiful this looks now. Mm, and so just good. to season your rice, half a teaspoon of salt is all you need. That's good. Brilliant. Which I'm going to add now. That's it, done. 
Amazing. Do you want to open up the curry and I'll take a little yes, one final little. look at everything before I'm going we... to put a little bit of lemon in the curry. And some and coriander, some coriander right, to which we've got already Yeah. This rice is now done. So can we just switch it off and it will cook with its skin. Yeah. And we warm it up before so Thanks, Mum. Well and done. Like curry nice. in a hurry. We've yeah, literally got 20 minutes to cook today. Everything's ready now and we can carry on with our day. Well done, Mum. Doesn't that look stunning? I'm going to decorate it with a leaf of coriander. Okay. There we go. Wow. Mum has been cooking away. Give me a little smile. Little smile. Yay! Happy cooking! <laughs> well done, Mum. You inspire us all. It's just so easy. And your recipes are literally foolproof. Well done, Mum. Thank you. Family's going to be very happy today. Sure. Looking forward to dinner already. Mmm.